In my playbook tonight, unemployment in our country still is over 10 percent, and job creation uh, just isn't coming fast enough for a lot of counties and states in this country. President Obama himself has called it the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression when we hit 25 percent unemployment back in those days in the 30s. Now, and one congressman is planning to use lessons learned from the dark days of the 1930s to create jobs today. He plans to introduce his own version of the New Deal tomorrow. Joining me now is Congressman Phil Hare of Illinois, who sits on the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Congressman, good to have you on tonight. For, first of all, you. you bet. Does your plan call for using the TARP money, the $200 billion that's left over? What do you think? It, it does that. It calls for $60 billion of the TARP money going uh, to put people back to work, over 3 million people back to work. And so the bill uh, is revenue neutral. And, you know, I had said earlier, and I told our caucus, I said, look, enough of this Main St uh, the Wall Street stuff. We need to talk about Main Street. And, you know, uh, I kept hearing, well, the banks are too big to fail. Well, we are, you know, the, the American people are too big to let us fail them. And I just decided, look, we're going to have to start investing in people and not these big banks. And I think that this bill is a great first start doing that. All right, what do you want to do with it? You want to hand out money, lo easy loans? No, no. What do you want to do here? <laughs> I wish it was that easy. No, what we want to do are three things. One is we want to uh, have a public works program similar to what Roosevelt had with the CCC, getting people to work, uh, repairing schools, uh, you know, uh, make, maybe working in community health clinics, uh, get, getting people that are, that are out of work. Just writing, want to do, just so you, you just want to write a federal check of this 200 billion dollars to wherever it's needed to do schools and infrastructure right well no no not no not just that Ed. we want to take the second part of there's three elements of this bill the second part we want to do is give money directly to states there's 48 states that are upside down my home state 11 and a half billion dollars so what we want to do is give them money so that they don't have to lay people off or fertile people or maybe possibly hire people the other thing we want to do is give money to the uh, USDA and to the Department of the Interior for, for grants so that we can put people to work repairing our national forests and our parks and we this is something that we can we can do the question becomes whether or not we want to spend more time and money on putting people and investing in people or whether we want to continue to hear these guys are too big to fail uh, I got tired of it and I'll tell you if I hear the term jobless recovery one more time I'm going to become ill how much support are you going to get for this I, I mean do you have a lot of colleagues in the House that would, would back you up on this. I, I mean, it, if the Democrats don't create jobs, it's going to be brutal next November. It will be more than brutal. And I, I've told the colleagues, I have a lot of people that are very interested in the bill. I think we're going to initially, when I was passing out just the fact sheet paper, I had members coming up going, can I have one of those? Can I have one of those? And, you know, the people that I've talked to from Blue Dog Democrats, from progressive members of Congress and the Hispanic Congress, the, you know, every caucus in the House, uh, people are very enthused about the bill. And I tell you, I'm going, to, I'm going to not just drop the bill, I'm going to work to get this thing passed. I didn't come here to be a backbencher, and we have got to get people yeah. to work. If we do not, it's not even the political thing with me yet. It is, these, are, these are people who, for heaven's sakes, and by the way, this isn't just about young kids. These are about people from 18 to, to 60 years old. And it's time that we, as I said, took a look at what we're doing here as a Congress and made a direct uh, uh, you know, deposit, if you will, into the, into the homes of people. There's so many people that are just on the verge of losing their homes. They've already lost it. They don't have health care. They can't put their kids through There's school. There's a lot of things you can do with $200 billion. No well, doubt. Gonna, <laughs> well, I'm going to take, I'm going to carve $60 billion out and put 3 million people to work. And I'm not going to stop until we get this bill passed. All I right. think we can. And I'm not giving up. I, you know, I came out of a, as you know, I came out of the, uh, of a clothing factory and I know what it's like to see a plant lose uh, its workers. And I'm not going to be part of that anymore. I may be part of the solution, not part of a problem. Congressman, good to have you.